You know, my parents sent me here because I got in a disagreement with my co-star. Well, actually, they sent me to the kiddie ward, and then I moved to the Juvie Wellness Center. Oh, and then finally got bumped up to Blackfield after I murdered my roommate. Trust me, that guy was a psychopath. What did he do? He thought Chris Kirkpatrick was the best member of NSYNC. Are you nuts? But this... This is where I grew up. It was hard at first. Nobody came to see me. Not even my parents. They said they would, but they lied! You felt alone. I get it. Don't make this about you, Stuart. It's unbecoming. Sorry. <sighs> then I got to know the guys in here. And guess what? They were just like me. Yeah. Blackfield was the best 10 years of my 25 to life. Hold on to your butt crack. We're going in. Home sweet home. Huh. Still smells the same. Your co-star was a dog? Fuck Billy, that son of a bitch! Oh, sorry, Mommy. I, I, I didn't mean to swear. Stu, meet my Mommy. Mommy, meet my Stu. Hi, Wesley. That's right. I still won't call you Dad. You... You locked your parents in here. I wrote. I tried calling. They ignored me. They always ignored me. So when the world ended, and the cell block opened up, I tracked them down, and I left them in here to rot. Just like they left me! You, uh, you got their attention now. <laughs> yeah, I do. Mommy, Wesley, I never wanted to try out for that sitcom. I was perfectly happy doing summer stock in the Berkshires. But you needed a Lexus. You were my parents. You were supposed to be my biggest fans. But you know what? I don't need you assholes. Because I have found my people. And those guys out there, they love me for me. Concludes our tour. Mm. I'd kill for those areolas. <laughs>